If you need to finish a raw edge along a curve by folding it over such as for a skirt hem or applique, you can easily get an even clean fold by using something called ease stitching. It starts with a basting stitch. Increase the stitch length on your sewing machine to the longest setting. Without back stitching, begin sewing along the raw edge of your fabric, about an eighth of an inch away from where you want your fold line to be. In this case, I want my fabric to fold over by a half inch, so I'm sewing with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Be aware that when you sew along a curve with a long stitch length, the machine will push through the fabric faster, so you may need to use a lighter touch on the foot pedal than you normally would to maintain control. When you've made it around the curve, stop without back stitching and leave a tail when you snip the threads. Now it's time to gather our raw edge using the basting stitches we just sewed. To form a gather, you'll pull two of the thread tails at the ends of our stitch line. Now you can either pull the two threads on the front of the circle or the two threads on the back of the circle, but you can't do one on each side or you won't be able to move your gathered folds. I'm choosing to pull the threads on the front of the fabric because it will be easier once the edge starts to fold over onto the back. Start with one of these threads and pull it. As you pull, move the gathers that are forming to distribute them evenly around the circle. Be aware of the other thread tail because if you pull too much, eventually you will just pull all the stitches out. As you're creating your gathers, you should notice that your raw edge is tightening and forming a natural fold along the curve. Make sure your fold is at the width you want, in my case a half inch. You will likely have to loosen the gathers to get a clean fold, but I find it easier to start with more gathers and gradually ease them out. The gathers should be contained within the fold line so they can't be seen from the other side. When you're happy with your fold, give it a press with the iron to get a crisp edge. This lesson is taken from my Skillshare class, One Pillow, Seven Sewing Machine Skills. This course is a step-by-step -step guide to making a color-blocked pillow that also teaches you fundamental sewing machine knowledge. You can take this class and thousands of other Skillshare classes for free by clicking the link in the description box.